Father, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of all sins we have committed against you and against those made in your image. Father, I ask right now according to your word in Psalm 34, verse 7, that you camp your angels around all of us, the angels broadcast around our loved ones, family members, ministry partners, in-laws, ex-in-laws, and friends to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Welcome, everyone, to another live edition of our University of the Holy Spirit. Okay, seven-day financial miracle prayer campaign. Amen. Today is our second day. Praise God. There's blessings that come to us when we appear before the Lord, okay, and offer a little sacrifice, okay? It happens all the time, friends. God is not a liar, amen? God honors His Word, and I am a witness about that. When I used to, you know, not honor God financially, I used to be dead broke. Everything you know, in my life was wrong. You know, I was losing money. Every time I had a little bit of money, Satan came in, he snapped it out of my hand. So then I learned, you know, honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all you increase. Okay. So then I learned that. And then I began doing it. It wasn't easy to do it at first, but I, I had to fight because I was fed up, you know, being robbed by Satan. You know, on top of that, sickness, disease, infirmity, all that kind of stuff to keep me from working. Even depression and oppression to keep me from working and making money. That's how the devil works, folks. Okay, the devil, one way he steals money from people is by hindering them from working. He puts diseases in their bodies. Now they, you know, stay home. They can't work. Okay, so how are they going to make a living? They're going to have to beg the government for money, right? And that's not God's intent for them. Okay, God, God's intent for you is to depend on Him, not on the government. Okay, God is your provider. Okay, honor the Lord. And this is a good ministry for you to do that. Why? Because we preach the Word of God. We help people break free from curses and evil spirits and the like. I've been doing this for 31 years. I have seen so many people break free from the chains of the devil, including myself and including family members in my life, in my family. Okay, so my, I am a witness. If you don't have anywhere to sow your finances, especially because all the churches are closed now because of the pandemic, this is a good place. Okay, very good place for you to do so. Okay. Okay, let's just go ahead now and go after evil spirits. Okay, I know for a fact that evil spirits steal money from people. They steal their health. They keep them in bondage. Okay, right? And, 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 the, real, and the way the devil does that is by driving people to do the you know, wrong things, to buy the wrong stuff. Depending on what you buy, you are actually sowing money in Satan's kingdom. Okay? Amen? And there will be a price to pay. There will be a penalty. I always tell people, nobody can beat... Nobody, nobody can beat... I'm sorry. Nobody can beat the devil's interest rate. The devil gives out with one hand and then he takes back with both. Okay? Do you think credit cards, interest rates, 26% a year, do you think that's too high? Oh, let me tell you something, that's not too high in comparison to the, de to the devil's interest rate. Nobody, no bank, no credit card company, no financial institution ever can beat the devil's interest rate. Okay? Keep that behind your eyes and in between your ears, okay? The devil wants you sowing money in the wrong places, signing up for dating sites, you know, paying, you know, membership for uh, a pornography, pornographic websites, and, 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 and buy secular movies to watch them, that kind of stuff, okay? When you do that, you are sowing money into Satan's kingdom. And that's all Satan wants you to do so he can, you know, 
steal from you, rob you, hinder money from getting to your hands, and on top of that, make you depressed, suicidal, sick, diseased, okay? That's what he does. And he is very good at it, okay? He knows exactly what he's doing. You don't have to teach Satan how to torment somebody, okay? He is an expert, all right? I'm just telling you, there's ways you can be protected, okay? And that's God's way, okay? If you want to be blessed financially, then start honoring God, okay? Start doing what God tells you to do. And don't forget, you can sow financial seeds here for this campaign. I will not recommend anyone running this campaign without sowing anything. It's not my recommendation. That's what Satan wants you to do anyways. Well, just run the campaign. You don't have to sow anything. Right? That's what the, the devil wants. Why? Because he doesn't want you free. He doesn't want money coming to you. He doesn't want, you know, doors of opportunities being opened to you. That's why he speaks into your mind. Okay? Right? That's it. This seven-day campaign, if you are able to run the seven-day campaign, great. If, you, if, if this is, is your first day watching, you know, participating, know you that I recorded a video yesterday. We had a broadcast yesterday. You can always watch that one as well because, it, you know, you, you can watch that one. If you missed it, you can watch it. So you can catch up with us. Amen. You can watch it today. Don't wait any longer. Now, if you can run this campaign for seven days, great. For, for seven days, great. But if you can't, do it at least for three days. At least for three days. Okay? If you miss the live broadcast, the video is being uploaded to YouTube. You can watch it there on demand. Amen? Just look for the title. Day two of Financial Miracle Prayer Campaign. Yesterday was a day one. Okay? Look for day one if you missed it. Okay? So, uh, let's just go ahead now and drive out evil spirits. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. Okay, you don't have to donate right at second because I don't want you to miss the prayer. But after this broadcast is over, then do it. Okay, in order for you, for this campaign to be valid for you. Okay, you can do it right after the broadcast is over. You can go below the video in the description area. Amen. And you can donate there. Praise God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I now exercise authority over every demonic spirit, principalities and powers assigned by Satan against anyone here participating with me in this campaign. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, evil spirits, I command you now to come out. Get out of the people participating with me in this campaign. Get out of their family members. Get out of me. Get out of my family members. Get out of my ministry partners. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out, financial demons. I bind you. I restrain you. I handcuff you. And I pull you out of us. And I send you now to eternal prison. Go now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out, financial demons. Come out, demons robbing people. Come out, demons stealing money from people. Get out now. Get out now. Disability demons. Demons putting sickness and disease inside people's bodies so that they won't be able to work and generate income. Get out now. Get out now. Get out now, drug addiction devils. Get out now in Jesus' name. Go to the pit now. Go to the pit now. Go to the pit now in Jesus' mighty name. Consumerism demons, go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Come out now. Get out of everyone here in this broadcast. Go straight to the abyss now, evil spirits. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. I break you now, curses, by the power and the authority of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I now declare you curses broken and destroyed. Go to the pit now. 
In Jesus' mighty name. Take a deep breath three times. Come out, evil spirits. Come out, financial demons. Come out, financial curses. And go to the abyss now. Go to the abyss now. Go to the abyss now. Unemployment, come out. Unemployment, only three times, okay? When I say take a deep breath, only three times, it's only three times. I don't want you hyperventilating here and then get dizzy and then faint, okay? I, I don't want that to happen, okay? Unemployment evil spirits, get out now! Welfare demons, get out now! Get out now! Get out now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ! Poverty demons, evil spirits keeping people impoverished, depending on the government for food, in Jesus' mighty name! Come out, evil spirits! Come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go straight to the abyss now. Come out, food stamps devils. Get out now, poverty demons. Poverty devils, violence, murder. Get out, homicide, suicide. Come out, depression. Go to the pit now. Go to the pit now. Go now. In Jesus' mighty name. If we spirits keeping money, hindering money from getting to, to our hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Get out now. And go straight to the abyss. If we spirits hindering uh, uh, opportunities for business. You know, for generating income. Business opportunity. I command you now to go straight to the abyss. And I drag you now to the pit with spirits. Go now in Jesus mighty name. Take a deep breath three more times. Only three more times. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out, evil spirit. Say amen. Now I'm going to pray for my ministry partners. My ministry partners are the smart people that sow financial seeds into this mission. Amen. Father, I ask right now that you stretch your hands out towards all my ministry partners, those who sow financial seeds into this mission regularly. Father, bless them, prosper them, raise them up to be mighty men and women of yours. Place a hedge of protection around them and camp your angels around them. Ride with them in their automobiles and transportations. Grant them favor with you, favor with men, and favor in the marketplace. Heal the sick, set the captives free, and save those that are not saved. Father, break all witchcraft, voodoo, black magic, hexes, vexes, word, curse, and evil eye, envy, jealousy, off of them. Father, grant them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Grant them ideas from heaven so that they can run with these ideas and succeed. Father, pay them back. Out of all that they have sown into this mission, blessings multiplied many times over, whether a hundredfold or a thousandfold or anything in between, or the amount that you have chosen to bless them with. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. All right, that's it for now and come back tomorrow. Let me pray a final prayer right now, okay? You can make a donation right after this broadcast is over, okay? For this campaign to be valid for you. If this is your first time, make sure you watch the day one that we recorded yesterday. Praise God and come back tomorrow for more at the same time here. All right? Yevareha Adonai veish mereha, Yaer Adonai panaveleha vihuneka, Isa Adonai panaveleha veyasem leha shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. God bless you now. Have a good day until tomorrow. All right? God bless you now, friends. Bye now.